there, welcome to Create for Kids. Today we're going to paint a toy. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pick a color for your tulip. And this is the color that Katie made because she really wanted a blue tulip in this color. And I'm going to pick purple. And what you wanna do is you wanna pick two colors. So you could do a purple and mix it with um, a red or you could use a little bit of yellow like Katie could use or a little bit of her dark or you could just use white doesn't matter but we need to have two colors because we have to have some contrast between the two colors so that it looks realistic pick out your colors and mix any colors that you wish and you also want to have green and yellow for your stem okay and then you want to have a jar of water and we practiced a little bit before this so ours is nice and green <laughs> and you want to have this brush now this is a flat brush so it's going to be flat on the top and skinny on the side and it's going to be about as thick as my finger so yours is going to be a little bit thicker than your finger so let's see Katie's here she has a little different size of mine but it doesn't matter see there's her finger okay now once you have those things, what you're going to do is you're going to get green on your brush on just one side. See how it's just one side there? And then yellow on your brush on the other side, okay? And then we were practicing this earlier. We're going to go back and forth like this, keeping the yellow on the top and the green on the bottom. And we're going to practice that again. Okay, see how that works? Now we're going to practice taking our yellow and our green again on the tips okay we have to go a little bit over and we're going to practice making a line really skinny line with our brush by having it straight up we're going to just do this on the plate for now okay and see how that makes a skinny line now if you have it like this on the side it's going to make a big fat line when you want a skinny line which we're going to do first you want to keep it up like that like straight up okay now notice when you put some pressure on your brush which means you push down and you lift up it gets skinnier when you lift up and it gets fatter when you're pushing down okay so now we have that practiced we're going to get yellow on half of our brush and notice how our paint starting to get to about half of our brush that's what i wanted you to do do you have yours about half? Okay, so all you do is have to go back and forth a little bit. And make sure you go back like this, get it in there good, and then this way. See, now she has about half. Now she just has to get yellow on the one side and green on the other. Okay, and you want to have quite a bit on your brush because you don't want to start painting and it skips over some of the areas and it leaves white okay so just remember when we made the really really skinny line that's what we're going to do so our brush is going to be straight up and we're not going to push very hard on our brush because if we do it's going to be a thick line so we can start right in the middle of our paper and notice that the green is on top and the yellow is on the bottom that's going to make it green when we're pushing this or going down like this. It's going to make it green and not yellow. But it'll have a little bit of yellow in it. So we just go down like this as straight as we can. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. Okay, see how that works? Good job, Katie. Now just bring it to the bottom of your page. All right, now we're going to make some leaves. Okay, so we're going to start here. And there's, these are going to look a little bit more yellow. And if we need to, we can go back and get some more paint on our brush just in case. I always forget to do that. We need to do that. Okay, so we're going to start skinny. And then we're going to push on our brush. Push, 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 push. Lift, lift, lift. And make it skinny again. Okay. We can go over it as much as we want to make it smooth. Okay, and then we have to go back and get the green on one side and the yellow on the other. That's beautiful. 
And then I like to come back and kind of go back and forth like this to get it back to where it's not clumpy. There. And we're just going to make another leaf. So we're going to go skinny here and thicken it. And then we can kind of move it to the side here. The okay. last one that we do is um, um, yellow on the bottom though. Yeah, that's okay. They're all different. These leaves are all different and that's what we want them to be. It's different. Okay, see how that one's curving around this way? Now you're going to really like this leaf. This one's really going to be different. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right here and they have a lot of leaves and stuff in here. So, okay. So this one we're going to make it bend over. I think you're going to like this. So we're going to start skinny, push, okay, now I'm going to rotate. Watch me rotate this, okay, I'm going to rotate and then lift like that. So it's like coming and bending over, isn't that cool? Rotate, yeah, and just kind of make it like a, a small thing coming out, okay. We can make some really skinny ones like this and then just kind of lift our brush like that because they all look a little different. Come out like that. Just fun little skinny ones so that it kind of has a lot of different green right through here. Okay. And ours are all going to look different. So that's really good because that means we're putting our individual touch on it. Now we need to clean out our brush if we're done with our leaves and our stem. That's lovely. All right, go ahead and clean out your brush. And I'm going to take my plate back here. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing with our colors. We're going to get half of our color in here in one of our colors, the darker color, and half in the lighter color. So not in our main color? So this one will be our main color, our darkest color. So that would probably be your blue right here and then you'll put half in your white. How is your blue doing? Is it there? It's still wet. Okay. And then we're going to go back and forth right here. Okay. And what I want to make sure is that my light isn't completely white because my paper's white. And if I have my paper white, you're not going to see the white of my my um, tulip here. So I'm making sure that I add a little bit of the color so that it's just a little bit lighter on the top but not completely white. Make sense? Does that make sense? Okay. And again I gotta get quite a bit up in my brush. This side's getting real good there and then I'll go back this way to get more in my brush. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a point. So we want our brush to curve, go this way make our wrist go this way. Okay, we're going to start over here on the left side. This is going to be the top of our tulip. Okay, and then we're going to go down. And then we're going to make it fat right here, right where our, the top of our stem is. And then we're going to lift up again and then go up on this side and go skinny. Okay, and then just to make it even we can come on this side and do the same thing going over this direction this time. Okay, the next part you're going to put some more on your brush. Okay. Half and half. So we're going to start down here at this point on the bottom, okay? And we're going to start with it going straight up. And we're going to go on the side of this right here. So we're going to push, okay, 
and keep it pushed, keep it pushed, kind of wiggle a little and then try to come around. If you still have some paint on your brush, if not, you just come back and get some more and then go over that spot. Okay. See that shape right there that it made? Okay. And if you have a fatter tulip, you're going to make this fatter right here. So you're going to really like push down. It's going to go like this. Wiggle, 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 push. See how you can round that right there by twisting? Make it real fat. All right, you're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, start right here, right where your little stem is. Okay, you're going to go on the side here. Push, 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 squiggle, 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 and then come and turn. Okay, oops, turn, and then come back down. And see how I kind of move to the side when I come back down? Then you can always go over it as many times as you need to. See, I'm going to kind of smooth that right out, right over here. Okay, and this rounded part is what the top of a tulip looks like. And we're going to put a nice little round part right in the middle. So come back, we're going to get some more of that white and purple whatever colors you have go back and forth loading your brush it's called loading your brush because you have to have lots of paint on your brush you ready for the center one <laughs> so for this part right here you're gonna start with your brush going straight up and in the same spot as all the other tulip petals right here where the top of the stem is okay and then you're just going to move your brush up and you can get thick here so see how I'm pushing down and then I'm rotating see how I'm rotating so I don't want it to go close to that one and I'm rotating 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 around rotating with my fingers and then coming back down and as I come back down you can see this I'm lifting 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 back down okay and it looks like I need to get some more on my brush so I'm going to come in here and get my colors on here because I ran out by the end which is okay because I can always go back over it and practice 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 okay and I come right here and do the same shape Okay, twisting, twisting, twisting. You just twist with your fingers. Okay, twisting the whole brush. See how the whole brush is twisting and then I'm bringing it back down and going back to that point. Okay, and I can always just go like that. So it's like an oval shape. Okay, and then once you're done with that, your tulip's done. You can sign your work. Here's our finished tulips. I hope you had fun. If you did, give this a like. Up. Like up. <laughs> like up. <laughs> Give us a like up. Okay? <laughs> and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more of these lessons. And there's a little bell to push right next to subscribe that will notify you when we have a new video up. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.